Call Mathematics 2018 May June Question 2. The first three terms of an AB are x plus 1, 4x minus 2, and 6x minus 3, respectively. If the last term is 18, find the value of x. And also, the sum of the terms of the progression. Now, these are terms that are containing variables in x. So, we need to look at them carefully. Now we need to reason carefully before we can solve or we can answer this question. Um, we know we can always find a common difference when we take any two given term as any two subsequent terms. So this term and this term are subsequent. This and this are also subsequent terms. Now We have 4x minus 2 minus x plus 1, that is this minus this, will give us a common difference. So 4x minus 2 minus x plus 1 will give us a common difference of you know, 4x minus x will give us 3x and negative 2 minus 1 will give us negative 3. We can also take this subsequent term and the previous term which is 4x minus 2 to determine another common difference which are all going to give us the same thing but because the variables are there's a variable x it seem to be different expressions now we can equate the two so we use the last two terms that is 6x minus 3 minus 4x minus 2 so 6x minus 4x gives us 2x then negative 2 minus minus 2 gives us negative 1 so these two terms are the same, or these two expressions are equal, because they are all a common difference. The common difference of an AP are always the same. So we now equate this and this to obtain 3x minus 3 is equal to 2x minus 1. So grouping like terms, we obtain x to be equal to negative 1 plus 3. So this implies that our x is equal to 2. So we're able to determine the value of x. Now we're asked to find the sum of the terms of the progression. And don't forget that we're given that the last term is 18. And also, one thing you have to note is that the last term is also a term in the AP. The last term is also a term in the arithmetic, arithmetic progression. So we can use the general term for determining the nth term which is u sub n, u sub n equal a plus n minus 1 d. But before then, we can substitute the values of x, the value of x in the terms. We determine the terms 3, 6, and 9. So that this is the first three terms of the arithmetic progression. So we can determine the common difference to be 6 minus 3 which is 3 or 9 minus 3 which is 3 so we just sub in these values now note that the last term is also a term in the arithmetic progression and we can use the use of n to determine any term as the nth term in the progression so substituting the last term we can determine the last term or the number of term that is the value of n from the from this formula. So we sub in 18 here, then the first term which is 3, and the common difference which is 3. To obtain this relation, 18 is equal to 3 plus n minus 1 times 3. So we can multiply, we can divide through by 6, we can divide through by 3, to obtain 6 is equal to 1 plus n minus 1. So this implies that our n is equal to 6. And the sum of the terms is given by this formula. S of n is equal to n over 2, or into brackets a plus l. Or you can also use S of n equal to a, all into bracket n minus 1d. Now, 
we have in all these values n equals 6, a equals 3, and the last term is 18. So we have 6 over 2 into 3 plus 18 is equal to this. When you simplify this, we get 3 times 21, which is 63.